Have you ever felt? Are you listening? In light of the racial tensions in America today, um, I just want to say one thing, and I want to be clear about it, okay? There's no such thing as a Christian racist. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button at the end of this video if you like what I talked about today. Um, and if you have any comments, like I really want to hear from you guys. You guys are being silent on me. Like, if you have any comments or have any examples or or anything you want to share based on this topic, um, leave a comment below. So I kind of wanted to jump off because with the state of our nation, with what's going on in the political election cycle, whatever you want to call it, um, there has been a lot of craziness. You know, I think that the true nature of people's hearts is beginning to flow out um, without filter. And I think it's a good thing. Like a lot of people are like, oh my God, Trump is going to end us. I actually thank God. And I think God who did this very reason. I praise God that Trump ran. I praise God that he's he's kind of preying on those ignorant thoughts and those, and, and those attitudes um, of a large population of our country. Why do I say this? It bec Because it shows that America, although they're a Christian nation, America, the people who claim to be Christians, and I'm not saying all, I'm just talking about this group of people, um, are, are, are not, they cannot use Christ's name to validate their stances and their values and what they're saying out loud, okay? Anyone who prescribes to the Christian faith who calls himself a Christian and is also racist in nature and in thought and in attitude cannot say that is because of Christ. That it is, a, it is in the name of Christ. One. If you are a true Christian or Jewish or even Muslim, you really study your word and understand your history and geography and archaeology. We all know that the Hebrew people, the Israelites that we read about in our shared, well, I don't know if it's part of the Quran, but I know the Pentateuch, the first five books, the books of Moses, those people that we we read about um, were not quote-unquote European. They were people of color. A true Christian, a true Muslim, a true Jew will know this, okay? Two, even beyond the fact of who the Israelites were, who the Hebrew people were, there were people of color, henceforth, Jesus Christ was a person of color when he was here, when he was made flesh, he was a person of color. The second thing is, we cannot negate the purpose of Christ. Earlier this year, I was commuting home from work and um, I encountered a Trump supporter. I know this because he had the Make America Great shirt on. Um, he was saying some things. He was saying things like, um, Jesus did not die for niggers and immigrants. Man, I don't know, like a media is doing a really good job messing up people's minds in this country. When people, when he said that God did not die for niggers or immigrants, I'm, I'm gonna say he was half true. You wanna know why? Because niggers and immigrants, God don't see people like that. God see people as people, these are my people. This is my creation, okay? And that word nigger, oh, nigger, nigga, me, all those terms really piss me off. And I, I just wish the black community would stop using them. Sometimes I'm like, why are you using this? It's not giving it power. It's such a lie to think to yourself that, oh, we're taking back our power using the words that they use to, to, to demean us. No, that's not taking back power. It's not. So stop. And when he said that, I'm like, what are you trying to say? Jesus only died for the quote-unquote European, can we all 
recognize and understand that whether you believe in evolution or creationism, first of all, evolution is a subset of creation. Like, do you guys realize that God did not make an Asian Adam and Eve? God did not make an a African Adam and Eve. God did not make a European Adam and Eve. Recognize that we are all brothers and sisters. We are all one big family and we we separated and began to transform to our environment. Thus our different features, thus our different complexions, thus our different hair textures. Why do, I guess, kink like African American hair, it grows up and it grows wide. And European hair, I'm, I'm using these terms because like it doesn't make sense. It's hair is hair, right? European hair grows down. And people, you know, there was something saying that the environment, you know, in an African, in a real sun, the, the, the well lit areas, you know, that was getting a lot of heat from the sun, you know, the, the people there evolved, their hair began to grow in such a way to protect the body and, and from the heat, you know? Um, and for those living in cooler climates, I'm gonna call them the European climates, um, the hair grew downward it's like to, to keep them warm. So the, our body changed and evolved in a way to keep us protected from our elements to be able to just survive in our environment. So I digress. It's a whole different topic that I'm not gonna go into. You can you can watch other YouTube videos for that. When he said that, I just heard like, uh oh. Did this man really just say my Jesus did not die? So who did he die for? If, if you're cutting out black people and, 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 and immigrants, I'm assuming you're cutting out every person of color. Um, if he didn't die for those people, then he would have not died for you. Our, our eyes as human beings has been trained to recognize color. You know, and that's fine. You know, recognize we have to recognize color, right? But these these man-made categories of race, black, white, just Hispanic is not even race. Black, white, you know, whatever, African, European, Asian, all these things are just man-made. We have the same DNA. We are all human. Jesus died for humanity. He died for mankind. Okay? So though I just need to vent that out because I was really getting frustrated coming across really a lot of quote unquote questions who are so oh my lord it goes to show you that American media and and I think we're still in the dark ages in terms of Christianity there was a time where the masses the, the congregation the congregants of the mass were not able to have their own Bible. Um, they weren't able to decipher the word for themselves. They weren't able to question what was given to them. They had to receive the message from the priest, from the leader at that time, as word, as, as solid. Like, they were not able to decipher for themselves and, and, and get to have a personal relationship with their God. Some people are still living like that, and some still Protestants are living like that. Just know that Protestants are any other Christian denomination other than the Catholic Church. I understand um, we are all Christian, but there's different denominations, but there's a big separation between a Protestant church and a Catholic church. Um, so I think we still have a problem with that. And you know, in the New Testament, it tells us of this, you know, there will be false prophets. We are told day and day and day and out to understand God's word, to be in God's presence, let him have solidify his his concepts to you um but oh man there are a lot of christians who till this day even if they have a bible they never open it and they take everything that the pastor says as gold they don't question it they don't challenge it they don't ask clarify um, clarifying questions um so that they can really understand what god is trying to tell them in that text in that subtext of, of what of the written word and there are a lot of false prophets, um, knowingly, who prey on these congregants who do not question them. God is looking at America, God is looking at the world, not even America, God is looking at the world and his emotions are for us and he is feeling grieved. 
he is feeling sad because there's so much of his creation that has not yet come to the truth. And these Christians, man, who have not yet been woke, are just, are just examples of that. Hey, it's Kim here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a new subscriber, please sure to click subscribe if you like what's what you see. Um, and for my returning fan, thank you so much for returning, checking out this video. Be sure to like and comment below. I kind of want to know your thoughts. 